little bit of a not good word uh, for has. Go on. Right. Um. Recently, there's been an accusation uh, being thrown uh, onto a person who's the age of 19. He's a YouTuber, and he's been um. Oh no, not 19. Sorry, 18. Turning 19. Um. And apparently he's been sexting 15 year old and he was being cancelled over that, right? And I will not speak on this topic. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> We're avoiding that, are we? I mean, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> huh? Mari, can you please just tell me the headline? What is the headline? We won't discuss it, I just want to know what was the... Okay. False allegations of... Uh, pedophilia. Please. Would be the quick summary of it. Okay. Hmm. Right, so, yeah. Uh, age gap, uh, probably three years, right? 18, 15, uh, this YouTuber was being cancelled over that. Uh, then... Hold on, that's a wrong expression for that. Um, okay, so, a lot of people are divided over... Whether or not this is like, you know, a good thing or a bad thing, if it's a pedo or not, okay? Um, because it was all just sexting. Rather than, oh. you know, being in a physical contact. And it so was over a message. Here? A question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. <sighs> Have I explained enough? I don't see what this has this to do with has. The whole call, what no, call has the whole doesn't want to talk it? about it. Huh? Wait, did oh. has just had this has has groomed someone? What is grooming to you? What the fuck? Like is what grooming? you just described, for example. Right? A lot of people have different definition of the word grooming and <laughs> Actually yeah. let's not get into that maybe. <laughs> okay, you wanna stay on point? Okay. But yeah, like so uh -huh. So 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 guy did sexting with underage girl. Yeah, but he's is 18. She underage? Mm -hmm. He's 18. Is she actually underage? Continue. Yeah. How old is she? 15, 16? 15, yeah. I don't know if she's I mean, turning 16, but that's bad, no? You see that? It's bad. You shouldn't do it's that. It's uh, high school age. More of the day. Yeah, you're still you're both in high school. He she just be in the ninth grade about and depending on your education system of course and mm. did they both be in high school though i mean it's, it's right? still bad it, it's still bad and they're only technically like what three years apart I mean, it's mm. still bad it's not like call the police bad but it's bad so i don't get what the point I, is right no I, like it depends is is it really bad bad I'm pretty no, torn because, really. from my real. perspective, like, they're both kids. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. look. If uh -huh. if a friend of mine, okay, <laughs> fucking, I don't know, 18, 19, whatever, started sexting with a 15 year old, I tell him, fuck off, that is wrong. The issue, huh? like, is the sexting. It is a bit, hmm, it is a bit weird. Like weird. It's, it's, it's a bit... Yeah, it's sussy for sure, I'd say. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like they were like, you know, just talking general. Uh -huh. It was mainly sex. About it was a bit weird. <laughs> the copy ninja's about to lose their sharing on it. I used to, um... No, hey, I, in my... In my school, uh, there was this guy uh, in our grade who used to date a girl, I think a grade below us, and we used to crucify him for that. But as a joke, he was being a part of the joke the entire time because that was happening. And uh, he was being shamed for that uh, as a joke, yeah. Uh, but it is weird though, I mean, like, I... seeing that happen. To be uh, fair, I went to school and quite a few, I remember the ninth grade, quite a few people dated people who were, like, because we were 15 at the time, so they dated people who were 18. So, and I remember somebody who was 16 dated a gent who was 19. It was like, 
it's weird but like at the same time it's like you're three years older you're not it's i don't know it's just, i don't know how to put it i don't what like what is our definition of like a child and like an i mean adult? they're both children that's the i'd say neither of them are children they're both teens but like at mm. very different so, stages <clears throat> They're teens in different stages, oh, then if they're both teens, then how can... Then I think they're free to have their own relationship, you know? But it's fucking weird, like that's enough, right? You, I mean... Would you guys, like, would any of you consider, like, authorities to get involved? Do you think that's no, justified in this situation? No, not at all. Well, in my country, legally, they can date. Yeah, yeah, same, same in Germany. 18. But like, ideally, right? In in your in your utopic country, right? the can you you're like a dictator. Would you want authorities to get involved? Not at all. I don't see any problem what to do. Amanda, I don't think so. I just, I, I don't like. It'd be weird. The only issues I'd worry about the the fifteen year old and dealing with the repercussions that might occur i feel like there should be because no it could be taken as grooming but the issue is that like all. is it this is really Good night, tough night. i don't think it's that tough i mean i i agree with both of you like authority is kind of too much but it's weird mm. and that's that's the end of it kind of i i wouldn't i don't think it's a good relationship to have but it's, it's not necessarily, like, damaging. So who cares? Hmm. I see it as there's nothing wrong. He hasn't done anything like she didn't ask. But the cue is... Wait, is wait, wait, I think this is very right? sus. You're literally, like, in a Discord server with a lot of children. Lots I of mean, children. I mean, hey, believe what you will, but he hasn't done anything wrong. It's definitely irresponsible for the 18-year-old, I think. If you want to act like an like, adult, right? That's the age of, like, when like, you're supposed it, to learn how to act like an adult. But is it because the 18-year-old is just as much a teenager as the girl is? Like, the child? The, hmm. Or the younger one of them? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I, I guess hmm. the way You're making, of... like, Minecraft villager noises. <laughs> What? Okay. The weight of the responsibility, I believe, would be uh, like 80% on the 18-year-old, then 20% on the yes. little girl. I think... I mean, what, yeah, it's... What, what responsibility are you even talking about? We're talking Nothing like... Happened. Knowing right from wrong. <laughs> Sex thing happened, so it could have developed yeah. something. Yeah. Hmm. But nothing happened. Yeah, exactly. That, that's my I mean, point. We can grab a knife and almost kill someone and say nothing happened. And nothing happened, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's an attempted murder. Uh -huh. But like, still the fact that they were sexting is... But then like, as, it's like, it's still gonna have its own repercussions. What, what as repercussions? As yeah, they didn't do anything. What, what repercussions? Its own repercussions? Like what? It's like, it's like saying dating somebody even though you guys were not like... You didn't really like them is not gonna have its own like repercussions it's like any interactions i think have their own effects like what? on a person give an example one one example i don't know what repercussions like would affect the person i mean yeah everything accepts people uh affects people yeah but, but being, like what you, okay, you're kind of being, saying you're kind of saying the well there's responsibility to take what responsibility is there to take is there it responsibility on the for that they used to have because she proper could have been groomed? We don't mm. know the context of the conversation and how much of um what calls, and how much agency did the, the younger person have? Because mm. there is a possibility. We don't know how much agency the year 18 year old did either. Perhaps in a year, two years' time, or even when she's like a lot older and reflects on that time and then feels as though she was manipulated into a sexting situation because of her naivety at the time. But we don't know 
but there are repercussions that are possible, which is one of them. I mean, even 18 year olds can feel like they've been manipulated. Exactly. Yeah, this is this is where we get into the the tricky part of like you know if this the 18 year old realizes point of evolution is the worst thing in the world. <laughs> We're trying to create I'm a law. If I can wave over here, it's like. If I get waves, like, she's 50, that means she's technically able to reproduce. I think she should work on her biological purpose as soon as possible. They should reproduce. Okay, that's not what I was <laughs> going for, you douchebag. <laughs> um, that's how you've been talking this entire day. If I explain my point, maybe um, I can explain uh, why I think this is, like, okay. Maybe a little bit better. I think... Um, our human body is like intended to have baby after puberty, you no? Know? Like that's that's how it used to be back oh in the God, days. I hate this. <laughs> okay, so you probably won't see what I'm going to say coming. Okay, so with the with the pregnancy, it happens after a period, and you know, guys. And when it comes to guys, you have first boner, and then you ejaculate, then sperms comes out. A uh, sperms sperm comes out, and. See, it's very easy to make a baby, but it's very hard to be responsible for one. Very hard to be accountable for what happens to the baby and how to raise one is going to be a lot of problem as well. So it's not right for people of you know that age when, when they hit puberty to be having babies because they don't know what to do. You think it's immoral? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? So it's immoral so, to have children before you're mature enough. Yeah, or educated enough. I don't know. Like, spent enough life experience to. Jesus. Go ahead. I want to disagree with you, but I feel like this conversation will devolve very, very fast. So maybe you just keep going on your point. <laughs> if you have like more to add. Yeah. So what I'm saying yeah. is. If it was up to me, I would increase the age limit to like at least when the brain fully develops. What do you mean to have yeah. sex? You're saying you can't have sex to before have, like at 25. Yeah. Maybe age of consent Jesus can stay Christ. as 18, but when it comes to like pregnancy and that I feel like it should stay above 25. You, you, want, to, you want to make it illegal to get pregnant at like 18. Because I think it also helps with the population as well. <laughs> the fuck? That's also the reason why I support gay marriage. I think there's then, better planning happen? happening. Oh, yeah, go ahead. But then, like, what would happen if somebody mm. gets, like, sexually assaulted and stuff then? Like, right? So then we enter the territory of abortion. Wait, what? Abortion? Oh. So, and what happens if the person wants to keep the child? Hmm. But what age are they? If they're like, let's say 18, because you're saying we're pushing the, the limit right? to what, 25? Hmm. So you're 18, you get sexually assaulted, you have a child, but you want to keep the child for whatever reason. Hmm. What happens then? Hey, that's the one shirt for kind of. I'm scared to say yes. Keep it. Like, I'm no, scared no, to say that. You're free to answer how you answer. I just want to, like, yeah. understand, like, what's the cause. I mean, if you're born in a rich family and you're able to afford, like, raising a child whilst being so young and... I don't know. It depends on how well they can handle that responsibility of raising a child. Right? And it's likely that they're not. Like, without... Without, you know, being able to... No, that's not right. Because a lot of people who, who, you know, works as a single parent, you know, works at a restaurant, maybe... Maybe, uh, they, they have another job gig happening at nighttime as well, and... They seem to manage that fine, but I don't think that's the position that you should be in. 
I don't know. But like in this instance, it's not a position that you like. It's basically it was out of your control in a sense. Right. So. You so the baby is not planned. Yes. I think that's where I have a problem. But I think a lot of babies are not planned. That's bad, isn't it? Is it? I think. But I think we decide to keep the baby because the you know, of... it's happening already, right? In... Yeah. Mm. I think what you're saying is like if, if you have the capacity, even if it's unplanned, if you have the capacity to take care of the child, then it's mm. fine. But then the issue is that then you're saying that like children are only for like. The, like not wealthy, but like. Yeah capable right de depending on yeah. finance depending people. on yeah i mean maru my parents had me very unplanned so wouldn't right. that be like wouldn't that be saying that people can still have kids unplanned you just kind of always have to be ready for it just in case i'd say that's fair if that's the case if that's what everybody's doing i think yeah if they're ready for that then i say go right but the common thing is that most people are not when the birth, oh sorry, not the birth, the pregnancy is unplanned. It's either one makes a mistake and then life develops inside you. Hold up, I'm trying to think as motherfucker. But then sometimes you can prepare yourself. Like, it's unplanned, but you can prepare yourself after. In nine months? It does happen. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Are you playing Fortnite? Uh, Shine? Shine? Oh, yep. Go ahead. Yeah. You didn't have a good childhood, did you? No. I can tell. Yeah. I think maybe subconsciously I want to prevent that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But people who has a bad childhood would also be against my idea too, no? Because they probably have different perspectives. Oh no, what they pop? <laughs> On average, mm -hmm. people with trauma, it's either you try to correct the trauma that you experienced or you try to avoid it mm. one or the other and i express ideas and i'm also open to like changing them as well that's why i like talking about these things because maybe i'm not seeing something that other people are seeing mm. but on this position I don't know, I feel like people should plan better before having that big of a life decision. Like raising a child. Oh, what the fuck? Honest. I, to be honest, yep. I think I want to be open-minded, mm. but I really don't like the ideas you're kind of sharing here. Uh, let's say I trust you to call that out. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have good comparison. Mm. If you feel like that's gonna get you in like a bad position, you don't have to say anything until you have a strong argument. Okay, that's, that's very good. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Mm, yeah, you don't want to risk you know, getting into an argument that you uh, don't really have like a like a strong foundation. I mean, on. this mm. topic kind of sucks, does it not? I think that's very obvious. It's a because we're like, it's such... What is the obvious? Yeah, man. No, it, it, like, it's, 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 one it's like one of the most oh, sensitive topics is. <laughs> it like, is, it's it is really and it's sad. tough one because it will all, like, it's a moment of, I'm... 
we're all trying to understand each other's points mm. yet at the same time we've all have our own past experience that have yeah. very very either narrowly or like made our own viewpoints very biased and difficult to sway otherwise so it's a moment of it's a, all of us have our strong beliefs that are hard to shake about this topic I If think I'm sense. pretty fluid with my opinion most of the time. I think I don't mind mm -hmm. having somebody else's opinion in and then, you know, just making a little adjustment or even major adjustment to what I think. Mm. Probably because I'm just secluded to my own, you know, memories and, you know, my past of, you know, having a single mother and, you know, having her raise me the whole time. Mm. And I think most of the time When, when I look back on it, all I remember is, no, not all I remember, but the feelings that I've had towards my mother was just pity. Because she's never home, and the reason why is probably because of me. School fees, you know, food, rent, yeah. electricity, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It was probably easier if I wasn't around. No, this is getting too personal. <laughs> it really is. But it's... Uh -huh. I knew they were there too. There. But it's like an interesting in Australia, in point. And it like gives us a further understanding of why your opinion, why your, uh, like, why your first opinion is what it was. Hmm. But maybe it's also not fair to say that, um, like, you can have sex, but you can't have babies. And, uh, like, just because you're poor or you're not in the right financial state, you, you're not allowed to have babies. I think it's also not fair to say that. I understand that. I don't plan on becoming a politician and lead the country, you know. I feel like in my utopia, that would be the best way to go is to plan for a baby rather than forgot to you know pull out at this one second of when you know the sperm okay, then. I entered the egg yeah go ahead what do you do for the people who are told they'll never have children and then do because that's what my mom was told she would never be able to have kids and what happened how many babies has she popped out though what the fuck Bye. <laughs> okay. Who, who told her that? The doctor? The doctors, when she was younger, told her she would never be able to have kids. There was something wrong with her. So it just wasn't possible. That makes you guys a miracle. But at what age? Um, I'm... I'm 20 years old, my mom is 47, subtraction, there you go. And what do you think of your mom? I hate my mom. I'm not gonna ask why. Oh. I, can I? Mm -hmm. I feel that the qualities of what makes a good parent and like what makes growing up in a, like a solid household and all that I think in some measure are exclusive like are exclusive like do not exclusive of money because in my experience even if your parents can afford to be good parents it doesn't mean that they will be and even though your parents ca like can't afford to be good parents sometimes they are even though they can't afford it hmm Right. So, which, which is what makes like the whole you have to plan such a difficult and like being financially prepared such a difficult one for me because yeah. just because you can afford or have plans to have kids doesn't mean that you'll actually be a good parent. Yeah. Because some people My suck parents. at planning. Some people. Oh, yep. Go ahead. My parents didn't plan. My parents. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not just. I'm not here to whine. That's not the. Point. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. 
What I'm trying to point out is, I'm trying to point out what makes a shitty parent. My parents are some of the dumbest individuals on the planet and expected us to be the smartest individual. That's not how it works. I feel like, oh, how the fuck am I gonna describe? Oh boy. Um, I'm looking for the word. Um, why am I such a? All right, take your time. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like as a parent, you shouldn't. You, of course, you should hold higher expectations for your kids than you did for yourself. But you shouldn't expect fucking mirror. Like she said, my parents had enough money to support kids, but they were shitty parents. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to fucking describe what I'm going for, but I'm trying. There's a lot of people don't ask black folks to do that. Actually, I think I'm shifting my opinion again. <laughs> I think age doesn't matter. Now that I heard that, I, I think, you know, have, have, having like an age limit for like when you should get pregnant, it, it doesn't really change anything. It's definitely what Wave hates, which is the education, <laughs> the planning, um, you know, like learning how to have like a healthy household, maybe communication what the fuck is the pre oh. what were you me. gonna say amanda Ignore. no 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 you, you've hit the point hmm i think those kind of skills don't get taught right along with like how to do tax and shit not not that it matters anymore no. because everything's automatic but yeah um Yes, like skill set that is like so important for like socialization. That stuff doesn't get taught much because it's just something that comes along or expected to come along with being raised by your family, being in school. But I feel like no one's taught right on how to be a person. Not that you can Look decide. How I interact with people. <laughs> Is it not because mm. like it's a little difficult to suggest yeah. or to figure out what would be the most human what's the correct way to be human yeah we know what not to because do as much as with law like yeah you know what, and is it not yeah. a moment of you know what you shouldn't do what you like what not to do we have laws for you to like follow mm. but the rest is up to you because of free will and other stuff so i do think on average we should be taught more on like just the social parts of like how to handle and how to handle rejection how to like cope with stuff in a healthy way and other mm -hmm. things like that i do think those skills should have been taught but aren't yeah. those things you can figure out on your own no no or is that just a me thing i'd like it to be but sometimes I, it's yeah. not the case yeah 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 it's a it's a weird thing yeah um there was another oh yeah like when it comes to this topic what i'm afraid of the most is an example of a family who's like you know financially cornered right there's mortgage and you know like bills uh coming up you gotta pay that you know, both parents are working and they're very stressed, you know, they're not getting enough money coming in the household. And then, you know, they're lifting up papers left and right to see, you know, which one you have to prioritize. And then kids come in asking questions and the parents yell at him. That is the moment that I'm afraid of. That's the, that's the thing that I want to avoid with what I just talked about. I don't think that there's like a solid way to avoid that. Hmm. There's definitely I mean, no you, yeah, method. You can prepare, like you said, people can be fully prepared for the birth of their child and then life just kicks them in the ass and something happens. Hmm. 
you just can't predict life. You can prepare as much as you want, but you cannot predict life. Yeah. It's also not realistic to expect that everybody has, you know, enough money to have a child. You know, there's always going to be exactly. someone who's poor. Yeah. 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 My utopia.